In this lecture, I will finalize everything. So let's show errors, for example, if there is uh, an error happening. So when the user is sending a message, let's show an error here in the catch block, not to just log it. So for that, I will show it a snack bar. So in order to show it, you call the scaffold messenger dot off context, then dot show snack bar, like that. And now you need to give it a snack bar and you need to give it the context. You can use, uh, I mean the content and you can uh, use the text widget. Uh, in my case, I will use the error. And uh, for the background here, you can use the background. Let's first format our code like that. And then here for this snack bar, you can add the background color and it would be nice if we show the red color like that. And uh, now I will make an error. For example, I will, uh, I will just, for example, cut this. Now restart the application and try to send a message. Hello, for example, send. And here it is. Now we are showing this. Now let's make sure that the user cannot send an empty message. Press here. The user can send an empty message. So we need to figure out this. So in here, I will revert the changes. Let's go uh, back to the chat screen. And now I don't want the user to send it, uh, an empty message. So what can we do is in the send message here, we can check the text editing controller dot text if it is empty or not. So let's do an if statement here, if it is empty. And if this is the case, let's return. So the code will stop here, restart the application and let's see if it will work. So let's say, um, let's keep it empty, send. Perfect. Now I cannot send a message if it is empty. And of course you can, for example, show another scaffold. So uh, it would be nice to say, for example, here, please type a message. like that. And let's add the const keyword here. Okay. And now press here. And here it is. It shows please type a message. And now if I type something, of course, our code will be executed. Okay. Um, I'm getting an error because I didn't save this file. Now if I restart the application, it should work perfectly. Okay, now let's say hello, send, and it should work. Here it is, it is working correctly. Now I want to test if we choose to, for example, different model. Will it be correct? Or it will be always the first default model. So in order to know this, we can go to the API service and then in the send message we can print the model ID. So I will log the model ID like that, save and then I will uh, use now the ADA for example and let's make sure it's being chosen. Okay, here it is. Now let's send a new message for example, hello and now here it is. Our model ID is ADA. Okay. Now, I will use another different model. Let's say, for example, um, text ADA001. Okay. Press hello again, send. Oops. Okay. Uh, let's type hello and now send. And now here it is. The model ID is text ADA001. Okay. So this is all. I hope that you like this course. And if you like, please consider uh, starting the repository and thanks a lot for attending this course and uh, I'll see you in the next one.